Hi Cancer, it's Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your tarot scope for December 2020. So anyone with Cancer and Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or any cross watchers who want messages for their Cancers, you can find messages here. We are calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anyone else. Here we go, Cancer. What is going on with you for December 2020? Let's see what you got, Cancer. All right. I'm already hearing a song. I don't even know what song it is. I know it's a song on the radio right now, but something about going out with a bang. So it sounds like at the end of December, going out with a bang, which is kind of funny because that's the end of the year too. So talk about big New Year's plans here. There's some kind of yeah, there's some kind of fast communication. That's the first thing that I'm noticing for you, Cancer, and your trajectory is like some big, fast movement right around the end of the month. Okay, and big picture, you have the Justice card. There's a lot of stuff going on for you this month, I think, and the big picture being the Justice card is a lot of things falling into place. Lots of things falling into place, coming from a place of looking forward to the future, looking forward to the trajectory. This and this deck specifically, the wild unknown, this always reminds me of a portal. And it's this ships coming in type of card, the things that you have been manifesting and waiting for, basically stepping through the portal to those things. So this is coming from a place of creating all of that and being ready to step forward. The heart of the situation, ooh, Cancer, is talking about past life connections, past life relationships coming together, and here is the king of pentacles. So here's a lot of good masculine energy that's solid, safe, and secure with this Six of Cups card, it is reversed. This is talking about getting rid of things that you have held on to for too long. And because this king is right side up, it really feels to me, it's like getting rid of past patterns that don't serve you in order to create kind of a new stability for yourself. This also is making me feel like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of relationship energy in here. There are also lots of people in here. We've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands reversed. There's so happening now and into the near future. It does look like there's some, I want to say, I want to say trouble. I want to say trouble with this Queen of Wands reversed just because she, she doesn't take kindly to things that make her upset. And what I mean by that really is you've also got the queen of pentacles in here. So you've got two pairs, two pairs here, two divine pairs. So, okay. This really cancer feels like there's a breakup to get into a new relationship. There's a separating of relationships in order to form a new relationship. Also, I want to say there's resistance to hurting someone's feelings. There's resistance to getting out of these relationships. Not that they're not, that's not going to happen, but there's resistance to it. It's like, I, I don't want to hurt you. And I also know that, right. I also know that we're not going to continue the way we've been continuing. I don't want to hurt you, but I'm no longer offering love here in the way that I was before. Right. The lover's card reversed even popped out. So I'm going to stick that back in here, but 
<sighs> okay, so there's definitely a full circle coming together of one relationship and releasing past relationships in order to come into a new one. It looks like also there's going to be some upset around this. I want to ask more about this Queen of Wands reversed and right that one's coming to an end or a close to the collaboration is closing. Okay. What I want to say, Cancer, to you is that in your in your advice, you have the the Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is take care and notice the things that are making you feel insecure and unsafe. Notice those things. Be clear about those things. Also, this is about um, planning for the future and saying, hey, this makes me feel uneasy and unwelcome and not solid, safe, and secure. Basically, we're identifying those things so that they don't continue on. This is also about taking things from past relationships into future relationships. Uh, it's like, don't, right, unplug that. Don't take this past, you know what this is? Don't take past insecurities forward into a new relationship. And insecurities, it's like being paranoid doesn't mean somebody's not following you. Insecurities, it doesn't mean that you're creating them or making them up. There are certain things that are really making you feel that way when you do feel that way. So this is talking about not letting those things come forward, nipping them in the bud before they can become anything. This makes me uncomfortable. So let's create a foundation so that I'm not uncomfortable with this situation. But it's unplugging from those past fears and upsets. And that's your advice. This is really leaving the past behind and the big picture is talking about justice happening here. This feels very divine. This is also your higher self talking about you, retelling your story. This is my story before. This is what happened before. This is how I saw it before. And now it's totally different. Now it's changing. Your angels and guides are saying, it's been a long time coming. Here's this fairy tale card. Wow. And you're finally going to be coming into the Empress that you feel like you want to be. It's been not divine timing so far. And now all of a sudden the abundance is coming to you and it is divine timing. It is coming in. I love that. Okay, let's look at past, present, future. Right. So, wow, this really is a, an ending for a new beginning. And it looks like it happens fast and it looks like it happens toward the end of the month, Cancer. So, wow, we've got um, being an expert. Yeah. Okay. We've got the Knight of Cups reversed, the King of Cups reversed just popped out. There's gonna be a lot of uh, disappointment here. There's gonna be a lot of disappointment with this ending. Not for you, but for somebody else. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, you are an expert at what it is that you want to do. You're an expert at your past. You're an expert at your experiences and what you've been going through, how you've been doing your self inquiry, how you've grown as a person. Present time is like, I feel bad about this, but I'm also unapologetic about the things that I have to do. Wow, Cancer, that is, that's heavy. That's heavy. And it's also amazing. It is amazing. Okay. I want to ask the Norman here about your happening now and it's the near future. Aside from pissing someone off here, yep, there is a bit of a mountain to overcome. But this mountain and the Norman is definitely a challenge that is overcome. So there's something that comes out. There's some kind of written communication around this. Um, this very well could be like divorce type paperwork. Uh, I want to look into the trajectory here for you, Cancer, December 2020. And this is about a new, a new grounding, a new anchor. This is like a new life is what it seems like, Cancer. Here's something happening like a lightning bolt, like 
communication and fast action. It's like fast regrounding into a new relationship. And I think this is the new person. Wow, Cancer. Okay, one more thing with Lenormand. I want to ask your higher self, what's going on? How do you feel? What's happening here? Okay, here we go. And this is the maybe Lenormand. So here are these kitty cats. There are more cards than the regular Lenormand in this deck. So these kitty cats are totally self-sufficient. They're able to take care of themselves and they're, uh, how do you say this? They are um, discerning. They don't mess with what they don't want. <laughs> they're discerning. They know what they want and they don't mess with what they don't want. They're also very interdimensional. And in this card, they're very playful. But this is like your higher self saying, this is the new the new way of being, Cancer. This is the new way of being. Discerning, aligned in your center, knowing what you want and moving in that direction more than anything. All right, I wanna ask the Magpie Oracle here about your center, your the heart of the situation. The heart of the situation and you get this tiny little barbell, which really is about strength. There's strength in this. So there's power. There's power in this situation. Ooh. And I also got a, the green die with the one. Talk about new beginnings and the new beginnings being a go. That's pretty amazing. Okay, where did I? There they are. Let's ask your angels and guys for an oracle card here, angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. What do you want to tell Cancer for this month? Here we go. Mm. Two cards want to come out here. The first one is breathe. Yeah, I would say so, Cancer. This is also coming together. This culmination of coming together is divine. Just breathe into it. The culmination of coming together is divine with this new person, Cancer. Wow, and you've got yin. This is also a two card. This is coming together. Be open to receive. Be open to receive the gifts of the universe coming to you right now. Wow. Cancer, this is kind of an amazing reading. Pretty intense, but pretty wonderful. Well, this was your taroscope. It was very much romance and uh, partnership related here, but I'm looking forward to your tarot scope your, or your mid-month love reading this month too. So have a good one, Cancer. Let me know how it's going and I'll talk to you soon.